It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. Cause all I see is a tower of dreams. Real love bursting out of every scene. Oh, yeah. It's time for the Boozling Dudes Thanksgiving episode. With Richard the Cool. SG <laughs> and your host, Mr. Chuck Bucks, him motherfucking self. I'm the biggest crush on the guys. Ant, dude. Family matters. Yeah, the ant was hot, dude. There we go. Opening up special Thanksgiving episode. So is that episode's Laura? It turns out her name's Kelly, the one that Urkel loved. Yeah, I never. I never but his real her. girlfriend was hot. Do you remember his girlfriend that later on? Oh, that's right. The little Fonda. banging chick. Yeah, dude, oh, she was fucking banging, name. dude. It wasn't her name. Uh, no, whatever. She was fucking that. banging though. Dang. This one looks like a chupacadra. Right here in the red. That's the one I said I was I was into, but I yeah, like the ant yeah. more though. Nah, she looks like a mm, predator, man. Mm. The, uh, the, I, ant, the ant was definitely. Pretty. Well, how are you guys with black girls? I'm okay with it. Mm. Chuck already here. He said his answer. Certain <laughs> certain black girls, like you could tell a lot of them they grew up all. Well, she's light skinned, like so you're not even into that then. No, no, what? It's not about skin color. I mean, there's like dark skinned black chicks that are yeah. hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, you could tell right away if someone takes care look of themselves. Look at that, dude. Let's go back to. And right, just, look at that. She's banging, dude. Mm-hmm. You could just tell yeah. through the years. Right. What? No. But no, nah, the ant was the look shit. Look at that forehead. Cram. I'm fine with that. Cram. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do have um, some videos we're going to go over. The cram videos. Oh, if the you guys. Greatest. Um, we'll go over that a little bit later. But uh, we are doing this episode to tell you how thankful we are uh for different things in life and we are thankful for the very small amount of downloads that this episode is going to get (laughs) and we also are thankful for uh our new sponsor and uh that is actually a cd by laura and tony um the vermillions i think it's called or something yeah Yeah, vermillions (laughs) Vermillions. (laughs) no just vermillions oh vermillions (laughs) oh the vermillions album yeah 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 Yeah. where's that sold at star starbucks Starbucks, Starbucks, yeah yeah. Uh, starbucks so okay they only bring it out during christmas i don't know where white people shop where else Um, hobby lobby maybe maybe yeah oh it's christian spot yeah 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 Joanne's. Joanne's. Yeah, but you can oh, get like shit. practically free with coupons. All yeah. the coupons are. Yeah, oh, then there you go. That's yeah. the spot to get it at, people. Yeah. Yes. But uh, Mr. Dick Sassy is, uh, has an announcement, and we blocked it out the last episode. So go ahead. I'm recently. He's gay. <laughs> recently, the lead He's singer gay? of a new scatting band. Oh, oh shit, wow. dude. Like yeah. fucking Mike Patton status? Yes. Oh, fuck oh. yeah, dude. It's gonna, be, yeah. it's gonna be big. Can I join? Yeah. Can you just give us a little bit of a, like a preview? All right. I don't want you guys to blow your load. <laughs> I'll do some slap bass on that. All right. All right. All right. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. Excuse me. Wow. Get some water. Oh yeah. yeah. I apologize. I'm gonna do your metronome. No problem, man. I don't need no metronome. Oh, no <laughs> metronome. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's just fucking badass. That's pretty badass. Oh, dude. I, yeah. I can, Congratulations. Yeah. Well, that, 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 I'm going to have a kid. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. It's, it's, it's a boy. Oh. Oh, shit. Congrats, man. Big old ding dong. <laughs> Big old bomb. Big old, Big old sex. sex. He's old. The lady was like, no mistake. This is a this is a boy. Yeah. Look this at that. This is a boy. Yeah. Or a girl with a dick. You're all like, yeah. you're all like what about big. that hand right there? She's like, no, that's his dick. That's his dick. Yeah. Yeah. The big old. Sack. She said, "That's a big toe." No. So is that a head? No, no, no. That's yeah. that's his ball. Sack. I had to correct her. She, you corrected her, and, and she's the yeah. lady who. He's. I'm the, pretty sure those two things up top are her are his arms. Are your, that's his dick, so not his right. other arm. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, congrats on your Thanks. new band, Fuck it, man. and congrats on your new child. Yeah. But good things are, are your, good things are headed your they way. Are, but especially the band. But especially, yo, let's talk about that more. <laughs> let's talk about the band. <laughs> that's what you're most thankful for this yes. year. <laughs> Biggest. What are you thankful for, Rich? Oh shit! You know what? I'm gonna say comedy the most. Without comedy, God knows where we'd be in this world. Oh, especially this year. This year has been like really, and next year too. I'm gearing up for people's heads to explode. Next but at the year. same time, though, like I mean, you've always been 
funny. So, I mean, even if the year sucked, like this year has That's so far, true. You know what? The, mo- yeah. the more miserable the rest of the world is, I think the funnier we'll all be as a group because then you mm. can make fun of shit more. So again, oh yeah, well again. yeah, like like Chuck, me and me and Chuck talked about this a few times. Like he's even like talked about how his wife will like give him Facebook messages, like try to Debbie Downer him more. She's like, look at all these people that got shot, and she's like, anybody, oh, exactly. anybody we know? Yeah, and why are you? Hundred <laughs> percent. Was it local? Was Let it local? You, I don't understand. Like I said, you know, when you when you think of Thanksgiving, you think of family, right? You sh- you're supposed, supposed to, to think of family, yeah, supposed to. family and friends. And here's the thing that get me now, now she, Michelle, or, I won't even say her name because she doesn't want to be the, wife. the podcast. The, the wife, wife. Yeah. the wife in in this basically went Too to great, take yeah. pictures, right? And didn't have her wallet, and so she simply asked for ten dollars to put towards the pictures. Everyone else getting pictures, and her sister, okay. The cute one or the other one? The the smart one. The other the one. Cute one. Right. Oh yeah. Well, cute you one's also smart cute. too. You, which one are you talking about? The tall one? Yeah. yeah. No, that one. Yeah. Rich one. I don't know. Has money. Okay. Corporate. Just got another corporate job. Okay. Couldn't give her sister ten bucks, and it pissed me off so fucking much that a stranger outside of the family, that's actually part of the family, but is not a, her sister, like a family friend, just four minutes or no, it was a, her her sister in law. Because okay. married to her brother, yeah. fronted her the money. A very simple amount of money. It wasn't yeah. a lot of money. A handful of money that you're yeah. going to get back. Something that you're going to get back the yeah. next day. Or later that day. Like later that, that yeah. day. And was able to do that. The other one's ugh, like, look at her like she's a piece of shit. Oh, that's shitty, dude. So that gets me, dude. Because if I need money, mm-hmm. I need my, my family there, dude, 100%. If someone needs something to eat, yeah, I've never denied that, anybody. Like, yeah, like Nobody. How, how you are with them whenever I see you here, like when they're here, like, dude, you're fucking awesome, man. Yeah, I'm never denied. And that's the thing for you like, guys, I wish too. I had a sister. I would never tell you and guys. I wish she married you. For that, money. I'd be like, wow, this is a cool Yeah, I'd never tell you guys, yeah. no, if you ever need, you know, a small amount, <laughs> amount of money like that, sister, or if you need food or something. I, have I ever told anybody that? No, I have not. No. Now, when Joe's over here cramming, you know, beers left and right, and I, like, he ain't donating, that's different. Like, dude, come on, grab a couple. We still need beers. <laughs> you know, I still need beers to drink. Mm-hmm. You know, that's something different when you put in your senses. But the thing is, I've never denied anybody of like a sandwich. I've never denied anybody five, ten bucks. You're the type of guy that gives somebody a shirt off your back and shit. That's the thing, dude. And you should be that way, especially around the holidays, you know? Because, like I said, obviously, when it comes to Christmas, what do you think of? Honestly, what's the first Giving thing you think for of? For me. Giving. Like, yeah. You know uh-huh. what? You brought into like another thing. That's why, in my opinion, just my opinion, that's why they've like tried to kill. It. Like, no man, be more inclusive. Say happy holidays. It's less offensive. Oh, I hate that. Okay, shit. okay. So here's much. my thing. When I say Merry Christmas, you already know my sentiment. You know what I mean. If you're gonna, if the first thing you're, if you're the type of person who's gonna take offense to someone who means well, yeah. Like when I'm saying you're, Merry you're Christmas, you're wishing something good towards somebody. I'm yeah. wishing you. Uh, okay, whatever your holiday is, I'm wishing it a merry. Mm-hmm. For you to be like, well, I celebrate Kwanzaa, asshole. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> yes. Fuck yeah, that. well, that shit and was now, a week and a half ago. I don't ago. mean marry anything to, to you. I don't even care for yeah. you to have a happy holiday. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. It's almost like it seems like you have to apologize for who you are. Yeah, for having a holiday yeah. spirit. For having a holiday spirit. Or having dude, a lot of humbugs out You're all there. sorry for being American. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but even goes no, past that. But what makes me laugh is when people would, like, dicks want to throw that shit out. Because I know when those holidays are. I'm like, bitch, that shit was, like, last week. So I don't even fucking try to be. Like, I'm telling you Merry Christmas because it's coming up. And Kwanzaa was last week. Yeah. And fucking... Yeah. Hanukkah yesterday was the last day, so shut the fuck up with that shit. Like, I hate when people do that, where they're being smart asses. Like, yeah, well, I'm fucking celebrating Hanukkah. It's like, dude, that shit was over two days ago. Don't even try throwing that shit. On the American calendar, will you see all those fucking holidays being celebrated? You go to some some other country, they're they don't give a fuck. They don't even have calendars, bro. Fucking rock calendars, dude. No, that's the thing. They should be pro American. Have you ever met somebody that had Kwanzaa? Like, I know. I've never met anybody that had Kwanzaa. But I mean, no joke. Their parents were like born in the Congo or like fucking South Africa. Like they weren't like, oh yeah, I'm just black and I I celebrate. No, like no joke. They were born out there. I honestly haven't even ran anybody that was a Jew. That was, you know, Jewish and, and celebrated Hanukkah. I've never ran into anybody like that. Yeah, I haven't. Have you? I yeah. Have. A few. I made a school yeah. with a few of them. And you knew them? And yeah. yeah they're all cool. And they, they literally are really quiet about it. They uh-huh. don't, like, they're legit. They don't bring it up. They're not like, oh, yeah, dude, you know how Kwanzaa is or, or uh, fucking Hanukkah. Well, I was you know? a kid and I was they, kind of brutal really with care my about comedy. It. So I was, I was like, well, what do you guys do? I was, I was actually curious. And I still thought. They have uh, a tree and all the other shit. But you're not even like allowed a tree and all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, but you, you, especially when they're kids, they're always like, "Yeah, I know what Christmas is, but my parents don't let me do that." Like yeah. kind of thing. And like they're super happy to come to somebody else's house. Like, hey, can I come to your house yeah. like that week? And you're like, "Yeah, why?" They're like, "I don't know. I just want to." Like, it's nice now. 
SG here. I've known her for a long time, and I know that ever since I've known you, you didn't really like celebrate like anything, anything. <laughs> and where did that start? Uh, when I was like twelve or twelve or thirteen, middle school, twelve. So yeah, mm-hmm. twelve. Uh, I just became uh, agnostic. I, I realized that there's other religions out there. They're older than Catholicism, and I didn't care for them. I didn't really like Catholicism, so I mean. And then I found out about these other ones. I was like, yeah, if my God's not the original one, and there's the other one, so fuck it. I don't believe in any of them. And so I just stopped caring about it. But at the same time, when the season comes up, I still give shit. Like, I'm Were not you raised Catholic, though? Yeah. So what, So you get, you got Christmas presents. When I was Were a kid. You? But when I turned 12, I started telling my parents I didn't want anything. And really? Yeah, and my dad was the first one to be like, all right. <laughs> like. <laughs> Cause like don't, dude, he, he's don't a. Tell me that he's not yeah, good. No, you gotta remember. Don't dude, tell me like, that yeah, again. Yeah, no. Like my mom was like, no, you gotta give him something. My dad was like, nah. He said that. Let's just see what he did. And fucking Christmas came and went, and I didn't get shit. And I was totally fine with it, dude. Can I, you I cry a little bit. No. Nah. Your brothers got like gifts. Oh, they laughed. They were like, hey, check this out. Look what I got for Christmas. And you weren't at all an ounce envious. Like no, I at fucked twelve, up. thirteen, no. But when I was a kid, I, I, I celebrated. I got Christmas gifts when I was a little kid. Oh, yeah. I was no, 12, 13, it. you just didn't give a fuck. I stopped caring about it. And then when I turned like 15, 16, my parents just gave me money. Like, But like way before, they're like, hey, here, whatever you want to get. And they just, like December 1st, they were just like, here's some, like 50 bucks. Fucking go buy something. And I was like, all right, that's cool. Wow. But yeah, they, they didn't care about it. So. so you read that deep into it, like 12, 13 years old? Oh, yeah, old? I was big. Wow. I was a library kid, dude. Jeez. Like before the internet. Wow. You know? yeah. Wait, you were the library kid? Like I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what is what's, what is Thanksgiving like over at what, your house as a kid? We all get together and eat. Yeah, it's, it's just like another. Uh, so you believed in but Thanksgiving? You think about it this way though, like Mexicans, when it comes to Christmas, like the way we do Christmas Eve, like everybody stays up till midnight. Like, Making tamales and stuff like that, yeah. Well, they do that the day before. Okay. <laughs> no, we eat them before right. fucking midnight. But I mean, everybody gets together and eats food. So like Thanksgiving is just another version of that. Like, and what's funny is my family, they don't do the traditional. Like they don't buy turkeys. They're like, let's fucking do prime rib. Let's barbecue. Let's do like it, everybody's off. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. well, not me now because I work for a casino that doesn't fucking close. Mm-hmm. But I mean, back in the day, everybody was off. So it's right. like they were just like, let's do something else. Like, let's buy meat. Let's fucking cook something else. And they would just buy whatever else is on sale. Like, so having a kid now, does that change everything. the way oh, big time. Yeah. that Christmas is celebrated with you and Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to deny her that. Right. Yeah, it's up to her to figure it out. But I'm not going to fucking be a dick about but it. But if your kid was ugly, wouldn't you deny her that? <laughs> what? Yeah, right. I don't know, man. If she was a freak or something? Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, like a test performed like, a little Dad. bit. You're like, uh, Dad. 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 Maybe yeah. I would just tell her that Christmas is like every day or something. Like whenever she was really being bad, uh, yeah. I'd be like, today's Christmas. You can't be like this. Maybe uh, she, hopefully it would get ingrained in her. Or so you'd be even sweeter. Or, or, you'd lie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not me. So, <laughs> on to you, Sassy. Bit. How was uh, Thanksgiving in the uh, in the uh, Spores household? Uh, Growing up, growing up, holy shit! Because, like I said, I know obviously me and you and, and Jesse have grown up. You know, especially me and you, you grew up pretty poor. Yeah, and yeah, I know you guys, especially, were, you guys were always about holidays. That's tripped me out when I met you and, guys. Like, yeah. You guys are about every holiday, right? Yeah, like, very, very and so not just chaotic. you, your family too. Like very, your mom's about Halloween, everything. How is it? How is it yeah. in the sports house? Be honest. So was it something like um, that? Something that everyone came over, or was it something that like uh, you know, like church members would donate, and you it would? It was always like uh, always a very big thing for my mom. So, but I think I took over when I was like fifteen, sixteen. I started already cooking because yeah. I already got better at cooking than my mom. So, mm-hmm. but growing up into it, it was very much her always trying to come up on more food. Have like a shit ton of food for things. Not just like way too many turkeys. Way too many turkeys. Because I remember every time I would go to Richard's house, he had like yeah, five multiple. turkeys. Yeah, yeah, at least three. He would ask like, "Hey, you want one?" I'm like, "Fuck, dude, you got yeah. like five turkeys." Yeah, and it was crazy. You're just like, "Dude, turkeys cost money." Like, yeah, they're, like, <laughs> they're much. just like, "Here, you want one?" Like, uh-huh. so like, nah, it's like, it was always like that. Hey, you guys want a free turkey? My mom would never be like, "No, I'll make sure someone who needs it has it." Sure. My mom would be like, "Yeah, <laughs> I, I could take it." Hide the turkey. I'll take that turkey. She would like whisper to me quickly. Run to the freezer and grab that turkey so she doesn't see it. But with your mom, you know, early stages, I was she she was on you know she was drinking and you know had had different her own substance problems. Okay, there you go. (laughs) You mean my mom was cool? (laughs) Just when your mom was cool. Mom was interesting. When your mom was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. How was Thanksgiving? Was it something that you purposely had to just mixed. get up and she was hung over and you had to make food for your brothers or what? what um, uh, describe it to me. 
It was a mixture. She would be trying to prep the whole night before, and then morning time comes and she'd be crashed out. Yeah. So then mm-hmm. I would take over happen. and mm-hmm. then just keep the whole process rolling. She wakes up about two or three, and then that's when Thanksgiving would roll around. Be like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm so hungry. Mm-hmm. Well, thank God all the food's made, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But so, even before that, how was it? Before you could like cook. when you were little. Before I could cook, mm-hmm. yeah, it would get chaotic. It would be like the Thanksgiving was never really about Thanksgiving. It would be about their personal beef or ego. It would be a huge oh, so a family thing. Huge argument between my mom and my dad or my mom and Sandy. And it would be like, oh, shit, we hit the fan. They'd make a super huge scene. Neighbors come up like, what the fuck's going on? Mm-hmm. And then after one of them would leave and run out. the Domestic other one, abuse. Yeah, the other one would be like, <laughs> okay, so how about that turkey? Like, is it too late? You ruined the fucking holiday. Do they us. drink though and shit like that too? Yeah, I mean, oh, like yeah. she's Hispanic, but, when I was but younger, I mean, oh yeah, my mom. Because like, that, that's what I associate before. Thanksgiving with too. Growing up, because like both sides of my family are alcoholics. My dad's not. My dad's a fucking pothead. But I mean, my mom's side growing up, like, up until I was like fifteen, sixteen, my mom was drunk all the time, dude. Mm-hmm. Like it was hilarious. Now, at the time, actually, it was funny for me, but for my older brothers, they were like, dude, shut the fuck up. Don't laugh. That's our fucking mom. And I just be like, oh, look at her. She fell down. Like, type shit. But I mean, yeah. Oh, dude. Like, uh, that's where I get it from. I know that. Mm-hmm. But I mean, my dad's out of the family the same way. They're fucking full blown alcoholics. Like, every time we get together for family reunions and shit like that, we're just fucked up. It's the best. I love it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, obviously, when we grow older, uh, you know, it, it's it is like being out of the house and then Thanksgiving. You know, I did I celebrated at my dad's house for the longest time, and this year he's actually okay, moved so to Arizona. Now, how's it as a kid? Now, though? as a kid, I you know, my mom was a single mother of three, so, so you know, really, we didn't have um, if, if we, we still if we family, still had sure. family, but our fa- her family, her brothers were really fucked up. I mean, kind of fucked up. The cousins were all fucked up. So the thing is, if we if they did have a dinner, I do remember going over there maybe once. Um, but for the most part, I think it was just something we did by ourselves. Mm-hmm. It was something real small, just in just us three, yeah. and and just my mom. It wasn't anybody else. Because the thing is, her brothers. I mean, just one of them recently passed passed yeah, away. Yeah, uncle. Yeah. And the thing is, it's just like th- that type of that side of the family was just. You know, it's crazy was not all there I just looked up because i've been looking up baby boy names and looked up charles look up chuck mm-hmm. charles means free man yeah it's like a king carol type name. carol yeah. means free woman carl means to be free and that means free man again yeah. so yeah. it's like your grandmother inadvertently named all of and her kids German, right? after free to be Isn't free like dutch, free man dutch mm, that's crazy thing? is dutch more than irish or something it's uh, it's Nordic. I know it's definitely uh, white. It's definitely different. white. It's Nordic is fucking like so legit. It's like, I, I know That's it's Patterson, and it's supposed to be Irish or whatever. Yeah, Patterson's in Northern but, Ireland. Yeah, but those yeah. aren't those aren't they Irish mean names. Nordic like like fucking Scandinavian mm-hmm. type shit. Yeah. But like I said, as of now, my dad. You know, we always go out to my dad's yeah, as an adult. But how was that transition? Because I remember like once I like with me and my ex, like when we had our own place for a bit and shit like that. Like it was weird because. We we're still considered young because I'm the baby in my family and she is too, or she was also at the time. So it was always like, okay, we can't really have Thanksgiving here because we're supposed to go somewhere else, you know? So we would have that friends, well, it's called Friendsgiving now. But before we used to just call it fucking get fucked up with your friends day. And I would like do like a potluck. Like I would tell people like, hey, like remember when we used to, like when you hated Scott Pilgrim that first time when you came to the house and you're like, dude, fuck this movie. Mm-hmm. But like, <laughs> I love that shit. I still remember that. But yeah, we was just like, hey, do you just bring something and we're going to get fucked up and mm-hmm. we're just going to fucking have a Thanksgiving so, at our house with a bunch of people our own age. So Thanksgiving to- was more to you is more just friends. No, no, no. That's how, that, that's that was how a transition. That's, like that before transition. now, like now that I have my kid and everything it's gonna be like a family thing i even told people i was like hey my daughter was born literally on thanksgiving last year like and she's born well a week later now but i mean i'm all it's gonna be awesome the Madison was born on thanksgiving too one mm-hmm. year yeah it happens That's every so, every five years it's like so many days yeah, I'm, I know falls I'm like Thursday, every day that it right? happens that time i'm like up. we're just gonna do it at our house like it'll be a birthday slash thanksgiving that'll be easier like we don't have to fucking travel because mm-hmm. like i mean you're younger like well you're young like me like 
did you ever hate that shit where in the beginning they always expected you to like drive over to everybody's house? Like you have to go to your mom's house. We did you that have to all go to her the time. mom's house. We've done that every year. But then on top of that, they always do that weird shit. Like probably before Brandon or before your boy was born, where they'd be like, "Hey, on top of coming over here, can you pick this up too?" And you're like, "Bitch, I got fucking shit to do." Like I'm not two different like, places. Two no, different but families. they would. But on top of that, they would always throw that at you and be like, "Well, everybody else has kids, so I mean, you only have that one kid or that other." It wasn't so much that I had to get too much. Like did you said, yeah, but they would always tell you to bring no. No, no, not just like the pot. Like, like for me and and no, my ex, like that they used to always tell us like, "Hey, we don't, we need ice." Like, or and it was like right when we pulled into the driveway, they're like, "Oh, mm. hey, now that you're here, you should go get this." I'm like, "What the fuck?" Mm. Like, I'm not the only fucking person. No, my my Paul Paul my my stepdad was always uh, pretty prepared because Laura or uh, Laura, <laughs> but uh, Lois <laughs> Lois would have you know everything prepared. Oh, of course, Lois. she was no, on I'm point. Just, I'm just yeah. laughing. Just cook because I'm thinking about his fucking roasting. Where it's like, yeah, they always have food. They're stocked up. All. That's yeah. why I, when you're all like, yeah, every time pulled up, they're they're prepared. Yeah, they were prepared. So yeah. she she cooked a lot, but that's why. Too bad she never uh, the recipe. But you're right. The salad. Yeah. I had to pre- basically sometimes my dad would be in town, my real dad would be in town, and I'd have to go to fucking Hist- Hesperia or yeah. Victorville all the way to fucking Wildemar. Yeah, back and forth. And what's crazy. And did you ever have the shit where like the parents would get mad like, oh, we'll stick around for a little bit longer. That, it's okay. No, they wouldn't uh, at least admit that. Uh, oh, dude, we, I would have family that throw that shit in our – well, it's probably because my ex had split up parents. So like we just went – I just went to my parents' house because they're together. But her parents were split up, so they'd be like, oh, you're going to go to his house now? Like, we'll stick around for another half hour. And I'm like, fuck, man. I got I think, three houses to go I, to I think today. Chuck's is the only place I've ever been to besides uh, my your house own? for Thanksgiving. Mm. I think it was like when I was 17. I was at my place, and then I went to your guys' place. Mm-hmm. That was the first time I'd ever had a Thanksgiving outside my house. Well, mm-hmm. it's Before funny that, when you go to – like, people over to my house. I had Reeves over – when I was 18 years old, mm-hmm. and, I, and then we had our 18th, my 18th Thanksgiving. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? Uh, old Funny Reeves. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Just yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah, for the longest time, John always cooked. So yeah. if you guys, kn- you, you know, guys knew the Blue House, if John was cooking, man, everyone was already there getting some John's cooking. Hey, he made good food. He made good food. Yeah. So, now that's it. I mean, with uh, with a kid on the way, Rich, what does that change for you as far as, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas? Feast. I think I think um, instead of like what I've usually been doing, I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm already good at making like not just I don't like cooking just a little food. bit of food. I feel You're like a I'm, cook, I'm, dude. if I'm gonna cook, I think I should make a, a bunch of food to make at least for seven or more. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't. I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, I just I just don't. I I feel like it's a waste to mm-hmm. just make a little bit of, like small portions. Especially if you're going to make like a, a big dinner for a lot of people, so it's like. Well, you could eat. Oh, it's always good to have leftovers too. Oh yeah, especially when, you know, when you're the one grub. making it and you know yeah. it's going to be killer. You're like, I'm going to make more, like type shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it's grub, dude. When you make that motherfucking, got that ham and that motherfucking turkey, l- 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 ham or turkey guy. What do you ham, like more ham for me? Yeah, I'm like I like ham. I don't like getting dude, caught a turkey up on guy. the uh, turkey. Could be good if it's slow roasted and injected. Have you guys had the fried turkey? Have you had I deep fried? Yeah, deep fried, fried turkey. Oh, shit, dude. Shit. Yeah. It's good, but it's not good the next day. No. Oh, no. It's good the day of. It's good the day of, dude. That nice crisp. Where'd you do Fuck. it? Fuck. My dad's house. He would oh, deep fry uh, outside. I went with my brother. The one you met, Steve. Steve. Uh, we went to a bar one time. And he's like, he's like, dude, they fucking have Thanksgiving. I'm like, I didn't know bars were open on Thanksgiving. He's like, yeah, dude, the fucking family here. And we went there, and they had three fucking uh, deep fried ones. And I was oh, like, really, fuck. dude, we fucked it. It was like five dollars, like on top. Of, I was like, I'm like, I'm already buying beer, like, like a yeah. buffet. Dude, it was legit. Yeah, they were legit. Was being, everybody there like brought shit, like oh, all the cool. regulars. Oh, okay, and dude, that shit was so. I was like, fuck everything else, like deep right? fried fucking turkeys and shit. Dude, when you have deep fried turkey, it's a fucking game changer. Another fucking game changer. Is uh, pumpkin cheesecake? Yes. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> You're my best friend again right now. <laughs> yeah, I hated pumpkin pie forever. Yeah. And a girl made me pumpkin cheesecake one time. I was like, yeah, whatever. And I was like, I like cheesecake, and I fuck. I was like, oh Holy my god, changes. Er- I was fuck. like, fuck pumpkin pie. I want pumpkin cheesecake Dude, every time. Pumpkin fucking cheesecake is a oh, game changer. The best. Real pumpkin pie. Also, you would. Do- no, no, I've had that too. Pumpkin it's, pie it's is awesome. good. It's awesome. Awesome, but pumpkin cheesecake, even pumpkin shitty, cheesecake. shitty pumpkin cheesecake, like the one that you can buy from Albertsons or something, is del- say, beyond delicious. <laughs> I'm about to say, what Albertsons? Yeah. It's like <laughs> but God it's, was a chef, and he's in the kitchen. He's like, mm, you know what? Mm, give me that pumpkin me, pie. Let, let me, me just put cheesecake. a little bit of God love on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, fucking done. Holy shit. Yeah. All the motherfucking flavor crystals like, in your mouth. Fuck your grandma's food. Yeah. Fuck all that shit. <laughs> like, pumpkin guys, cheesecake is cool. I'll show you guys a little hint. If you're going to make mashed potatoes at home... Yeah. Don't use store bought shit. P 
peel your own potatoes, yeah. soak them, get I the do, starches off. I do off. red. Yeah. Cold make, water. Make sure that you're going to use real butter and Ooh. definitely put cream cheese. Oh, see, I do don't cook, do cream I do, cheese. I do coconut milk. Get that whip. I do coconut milk, and it makes it like frothier. Coconut milk's good, but it, you got to make sure. And then have you ever done the flavor do of coconut? Um, mm-hmm. If you make Coconuts. a lot, like because I know you make a lot, do the um, double mashed potatoes. You make mashed potatoes the regular way, right? Mm-hmm. And the, then when whatever's left over, you put it in the in the oven, like you spread it across, oh, and you put it in the oven baked. afterward with a little bit more. Yeah, it, dude, that adds Fuck. a lot. Yeah, you put a little bit more butter. <sighs> yeah. Man. It's some good grubbing yeah. on Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. So let's go to a commercial and check out that new album, The Vermillions, with it, Laura yeah. and Tony. Here we go. Love me some <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for that date night out in Redlands? Get your wife. Two-piece suit and a tie, and listen to some white jazz by the duo Laura and Tony. Mm-hmm. Love, 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 lovey, love, love, cause you always love. Yeah, love, love me, love me, love me, skip it up, diddly, diggity, you love me. They play the classics. They play their own originals. And any cover you can think of that night. Uptown Funk, can I give it to you? It's Uptown Funk, can I give it to you? Mm. Yeah, it is Uptown Funk. Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna give it. Give it a bit, bit, bit. It's gonna give it, give it, give it, give it. I'm gonna give it to you. Can you just let me fucking finish? It's a very intimate performance every time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fucker. Yeah. Stop ah. interrupting me. Give me the moment. Sorry about that. Sorry. Hallelujah. Ah. Hey. Hallelujah. <laughs> done, done, Tony. And just Fuck like done. all relationships... They have their ups and downs. But with these, you get to see on stage. Tony, I get it. We're going to go up there, all right? I'm going to sing my famous love song. And all I want you to you do ready? is... Five the, minutes, five minutes it's on the, stage. It's the chorus, okay? We got to go on right now, okay? Now don't fucking interrupt me. I promise, babe, I won't interrupt, all right? Just go out there, and I'll wait for you and full support. Sounds all good. Right. All right, let's go. But they don't just do the bars and restaurants. We also do weddings, bar mitzvahs, actually any event you can think of, they'll do for the right amount of money, which isn't actually that much. Did they pay you the $30? Well, they took out like 10 for drinks, but... Alright, here we go. Love, 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 love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the I fuck? said, love, baby, you got that love. Oh. Baby, where's that voice? Help me out here, babe. Love, love. I'm love done. I'm fucking done. I fucking quit. Every night is an experience. We can't make the money that we're making and still live here in Hawaii. We have to make more money. And if we're going to do that, I have to sing my own songs. But, babe. We got to do the retirement homes. I'm telling you, that's like the best. Those old people, they give a lot of tips. Fuck, fine. And they love scatting. Yeah? That's what I'm good at. That and putting stickers on guitar cases. Okay. I'm with you. Yeah. They're not just a performing band. They're a touring band. They've been to countless performances throughout countless states. Ladies and gentlemen... Mr. and Madams, give it up for me, Laura, and my husband, Tony. Yeah, 
Diggity oh, bap. What the Diggity fuck? bap. Diggity bap. Diggity bap. Stop it. It's an experience that has to be seen. Ah, oh, really? They want to hit a Thanksgiving song. Right. This is going to be demonetized because of that. His greatest this album, is, though. Uh, yeah. This is a Thanksgiving song. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, are they? I think, I think it's what the hell happened to me. But. Love to eat turkey. <laughs> 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 love to eat turkey. Oh, I love you. I love to eat turkey. Cause it's good. Love to eat turkey like a good boy should. Cause it's turkey to eat. So good. That clapping's messing my head up, man. Huh? <laughs> hey, dude, that's when Adam used to get baked like a motherfucker and go out there and be funny. Yeah, that's when he was the greatest, dude. Yeah, dude, it was. It really was. Back when he was literally isn't hungry. Isn't this the album with the Snicker, <laughs> Snicker bar? Where they get snowed in the car and he's like, please, God, help it's, me it's think of a Snicker bar? It's definitely not what the hell happened to me. Okay, yeah. That's why I, I love this one. That motherfucking um, Vermilion CD, that shit's going to sell. It Have is. you heard it? I've, I've only listened to two tracks. It helped me fall asleep, dude. It was great. Wow. Yeah. I just put it on. I was like, bam, uh-huh. done. I, I woke up. Both I was just like, said you really fuck. don't like scat, so it's got to be pretty good if you liked it. That, now, that made me probably that drool. Or I like it. That yeah, scat. Yeah. yeah. Because there's somebody checking it right away, being like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was all about <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, it just got too bad, and then a sudden, like, Tony gets in there and just fucks it up. <laughs> yeah. Someone tells him to stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> until, until he stops. In fact, that's how all the songs end, is they tell him to stop. <laughs> don't do it anymore. That's, that's some good original stuff right there. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. It's good shit. But she that's does it in key, though. Yeah. Like, she didn't just be like, shut the fuck up. She's like, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. Oh, it was good. Yeah. It was good. It's crazy. But, um, they're going places. Yeah, man. Thanksgiving. And then, yeah, like, like said, they did a bar mitzvah last week, and now they're going to like a bar or something. They, they were, were just, places, at, they were just yeah. at a wedding. Oh, there you go. See, they're going places, yeah. bro. A wedding now. They're going places, Fucking dude. Man. Weddings, they bar like, mitzvahs. Love, love, love. Yeah. Love. Here, let's push play. Hold on, hold on. What track? Seven or eight? Hold on. All right. Ready? Hold on. Hold on a second. On. You gotta, you gotta oh, dude, prepare, bro. This CD is skipping, bro. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. yeah. Hold on. It's skipping, dude. Wait, wait, first um, of all, it's because we're still using the CD player. <laughs> oh. Well, dude, they don't it's, have it's it. better quality, bro. They don't have it on vinyl. Oh, yeah. Apparently, it's not on YouTube yeah. either. <laughs> oh, shit. It's not available on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Only live videos. and Yeah, those are garbage. <laughs> the only for millions I see on YouTube are panhandling. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Be all up <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you have it ready, Jesse? That's not scat. That's ska. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've got it ska. ready right here. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. Track oh. seven, right? Yeah, track seven, right, man. Cool. Yeah, it's that upbeat one right here. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love, 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 love. Love you, 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 love Wow, that was that was awesome. Fucking hey, dude, dude. So that's that upbeat track. That was one of the more upbeat tracks. Yeah, I liked them, but never mind. Personally, guys, you don't like that shit. I never want to hear them again. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to hear them. Okay, I figured you were being. It's just a sponsor, dude, and I had to be nice. All right, fine. Well, you guys ran into them, right? Yeah. We did. We yeah. did. In fact, uh, they didn't give us the time of day, though. They were no. 
They're they, selling too many albums. They, and they forgot it, who we were. I heard yeah. he's super chill. Like he always talks to everybody. None of them. No, no, no. Actually, they're big stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and none of they're them. They're big stars. They said. <laughs> they said that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Remember that? Remember I said, "Hey, what's up?" And they said, "Oh, we're big stars." And then <laughs> go rent. fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves. And I said, "I'm gonna go that fuck myself." Fucking yeah. Fucking hilarious. I'm sorry for making oh, eye man. contact. I've been inside a big star. You bro. apologized. I I've did. been inside that? a big star. Yeah. Think about yeah. that. Yeah. You were inside a big star. Yeah, multiple times. Before, I have you, before she was a star, though. Before ah, you exploded. Well, She's a big star now, I helped dude. her become a star. Okay, well, I told her that's to do different. It. Yeah. That's, that's different, man. Ah, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, if only yeah. I would have waited. If you were to wait it mm-hmm. a little bit longer. Or kept talking to her because she totally cheats on it, dude. Okay, but I mean, yeah. yeah. There's totally no proof <laughs> that you were ever with that big star. Yeah, no. I have videos, dude. Like uh, a bunch of them. We, really? Yeah. You still have them? I I'm pretty sure delete all of those big star yeah. videos. No, no, no. These oh, are like on analog tape and shit. We have a bunch. I have a bunch of other people too, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I still have hers too. <laughs> yeah, I would delete all of those. <laughs> delete them all. I delete them all. It's your best safety, man. For Why? what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he cares more well, about that. Well, that does bring me to our next sponsor. <laughs> VHS. Hey, no. we're coming back. Are you high looking for eight, some eight, analog, eight, analog eight. porn? No, I got digital. Okay. I got digital. You want digital porn? Yeah. All right, SG's got his own channel. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> no? No. Why no? did I, oh. I put that up? That's fucked up. Oh, jeez. No. Okay. Well, you know, I tried for the sponsor dollars, but I completely no. failed. Well, there uh, goes that sponsor. How are we supposed to fix these lines? I don't know. Our whole we had a whole two hour podcast before this and it got deleted because we have faulty equipment. Yep. It was a great episode too. It, it was, was such a, it was probably yeah. one of the best episodes. Let's talk about how that episode went because that episode was probably the best episode we've ever done. In fact, it was the best episode in the world. Our creative juices were really oh, going. Oh shit. But I was you know say what? the top five, but yeah. It was what it's like one of the best in the it world. It was kinda like play the best song in the world. It was. It was like yeah, it was we the had a best. groove, we were locked. That yeah. shit was fucking perf. That's true. And then... Um, tribute to podcast. And that was, one was sponsored by Bud Light. Tr- this is a tribute this to the best be, podcast. Yeah. 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 There we go. That's yes. the name of this there episode. A tribute, tribute to the, to the world's best, best this episode. This may not be the best podcast in the world. Yeah. But this is a tribute. But this yeah. is a tribute. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Totally true. Nice. And, and like I said, this is our Thanksgiving episode. And uh, yeah, we want to thank. For. We're thankful for fucking putting out the best fucking podcast. Too bad you guys can't listen to it though. But and we've listened to a lot. And and, and if you guys remember that the greatest episode we've ever yep. done, we listened to we all listened the podcasts. To, yeah, we we're listened to a to bunch of other ones. A that bunch were of really other ones. good, really good episodes. But ours killed on top of theirs. Killed. Yeah, it was crazy. Some of them had like a million views. Yeah, there was a few uh, guys. Had, like, six or seven. That had, like, switch a over. You'll be happy you did. Okay, this is not something that we just you know go off the top of our heads and make up. This is well written shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. This we got real. We got real sponsors. Real okay? shit. Yeah. Real real shit. People who are big stars now. They're people right that are now. real yeah. big stars. Okay, a listers. And yep. you know, maybe they don't talk to us or make eye contact with us. Yeah. But they'll sponsor. But us. you guys are in the same room with them. Same yeah. room. You guys were invited to the same fucking parties. True. Same Boom. party. Same wedding. Couple tables down, but you don't talk to. Oh, who cares? You're in the you same room. You don't talk to Carrie fucking, Underwood. Yeah. What the no, fuck, that's dude? true. Okay, we, you wouldn't talk to Carrie Under, Underwood, would you? No. Would you make eye contact with I, Carrie Underwood? I would, I would try, try to. Yeah. You would try exactly. to because yeah. yeah. you like, completely re- fell. Remember? No. Never no. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Right. Uh-uh. I'd be like, yeah, hey, I, I would give her a smile, one or two, and then if I'd be like, oh fuck, no good. Do you remember this? I don't remember. No. <laughs> don't remember that. I'm not even drinking the same beer as you. That's what they were doing. Mm-hmm. So we said later. I know, yeah. right? You're like, how hey, where'd you get that? And I'm like, this is yeah. what they serve the where'd VIPs. Angry like, oh shit! But you know, what? I highly <laughs> doubt anybody from that party, an A-lister like that, would even listen to a, an episode like this. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they were even in the same room as me. To be honest with you, maybe. Yeah, which is ha- maybe. <laughs> Hear me out here. We could find some audio on YouTube about them. Mm. I would doubt it. You doubt it? Maybe. I, I doubt know. it. I don't know. No? They're pretty big stars. Really big stars. Well, then they should be on there. Well, they really copyrighted big. all their shit. Yeah. And really big stars only have Vivo. Um, is it V-A-M? Like, million. I would just look her up on Facebook or something first. One video. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Black Bear <laughs> Family. That's it. That's the name of the song. <laughs> There we go. There it is. There it is. Now I would say look him up on. Uh, there it is. On uh, 
I'm pretty sure if she was on YouTube, she'd go with like Miyaka, Miyaka Chan and shit. That's what like the her, fuck? That's her favorite fucking Miyaka. Miyaka, you put Miyaki. Mickey Chan. Mickey. Mickey Chan. <laughs> right there. No, it's Mickey Chan. Miyaka. How would you spell Miyaka? Me? No, M I K. No, wait, M I A K I. Okay. And then Chan. Like, that'd see. be her type of shit. It's because she loved that chick. Oh. Is that her, the second one? No, she's not that cute. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. But yeah, that, that was like her big fucking. That was her, her name for everything. Fushigi Yugi, for all you listeners out there. Fushigi Yugi. That's a great fucking anime, dude. <laughs> they had a transgender on there back in the fucking early 90s. Damn. Yeah. That's heavy, man. Yeah, dude. Um, but like I said, guys, these are the holidays. So remember to be giving around Thanksgiving. If a family member needs you and you don't have to put up the fucking house or your mortgage on the line... Help him out. Well, for us, it's more of like, you're a grown-ass man, right? You're damn right. Yeah, so is Rich. We're all grown-ass fucking men. We give. Like, we don't come first. Never everybody asked. else does. Because you know what makes everything better? Knowing that everybody else around you is, like, having the best day. Like, you could have the shit-ass fucking day, dude. But knowing that everybody else is taken care of, it makes you feel so much better. You're like, oh, I, I was able to do this. You know what I mean? That's it. Stop shitting on people. No, like like how Richard was talking about where he, like, as a kid, he jumped up and was like, fuck it, I'm going to finish cooking. Like, That's right. Like, at the time, I'm pretty sure while he's cooking, he's like, fuck this, dude, this is kind of bullshit. But at the end of the day, when everybody's eating and he's eating and shit like, like that, you feel great. And also, guys, sure. luckily, mm-hmm. our generation, we're awesome parents. Yeah. Way better parents than parents. probably our True. parents were. Yeah, because you got to remember that. And we're technically millennials, but I mean. We um, are millennials. Yeah. As parents. As parents, we're fucking amazing. But as fucking just single solo loser people, yeah, we suck, dude. Like those are the ones complaining on online all day and shit. Like that. It makes hate, sense. They hate us because they ain't us. Look at look at one of our one of our buddies. N- no marriage, no prospect, nothing. He's on his phone all fucking day. Hates the world and all kind of shit. You know, I noticed that's a big problem. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm not even gonna throw out his name. You, you know, what's crazy like, is our first ever episode that we think done. about that. Though. I'm not being a dick. No, our first ever episode plays into this episode right now. It was talking about instant gratification and too much content. And that's exactly the problem is instead of getting out in the world and talking to people or experiencing new things, yeah. enjoying people life. are like, I'm going to pick my phone up Whoa. and look at if life. I need it. Watch if I else's. need to have it, I'm going to look at that, guys. We were just talking about shit. this. Look what popped up the video. Yeah, dude, you didn't know that? Where? It has a mic on it, dude. Everything. I think they're everything. fucking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Trivia. Yeah. They heard yeah. it. They heard, they heard us say that and then boom. Bro, and boom. Bro, this is Apple, dude. That that one like records everything. Holy yeah. shit. Google. like. Oh, did you hear me just get glitchy? Yep. Dude, is the government after us? No, that's just the business. Said it. It's just nah, the business. Okay, the good, 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 it's good, just good. Apple. Apple's all about good, good, it. Good, good, yeah. good. I'm relieved. Yeah. I'm so relieved right now. Booyah, bro. Uh, nah, I say close out with the fucking best of Tony uh, Baker, bro. Oh. <laughs> Tony Baker. <laughs> yeah. And we'll just laugh it up. Yeah, it you're right. I do like that. That's a good idea. It's even recommended. No, it's right there. It's right there. Recommended for you. The number one. The first one. Oh. Best of Tony Baker. Oh, okay. Well, guys, we're going to close out with some Tony Baker and commentate for you. In case you guys don't know, Emerge Cat or Emergency Cat. For those who cat. don't know, Tony Baker is a big, fat, black guy. He does cram. I, I know this heifer is not walking up here after we done put in all this work on this hunt. She thinks she's going to reap the benefits. She thinks she's going to get in on this buffalo. Uh-uh. We hunted for this. She no, she sat no, there and no, watched us hunt. That looks like a little bit. Uh uh-uh. uh. She done hunted with us before. No, no, she do this all the time. Cedric. All right, all right. I'm not gonna take it. I'm tired of this. <laughs> she better stay on that side well, of the buffalo. I'm not gonna around. take this this time. On this now, you know what? I'm gonna say something. I'm just not gonna say this. Girl, girl, get on out of here. Oh, oh, you think you are gonna come in here? Just try to reap the benefits of this time. Girl, get focus on this. Let's go out of here. Just come on. Hey, just come in here. We lose the fight. This reminds me of. I don't know if you ever seen it. We need to do the cram. Have you Have you ever seen a. Uh, Teenage Mutant Nigger Turtles. Oh, dude, oh, love it. God. Yeah, that, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, that's <laughs> really funny. Goats. Yeah, we're going with goats, peeps. Goats is way funnier. <laughs> yeah, the cram. 
cram ram. No, oh, top, top ten crams. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Top ten that's, it. that's it. That's the one. Emergency kitten on YouTube, people. Captain Sabaho. Awesome. Oh, well, I'm talking to y'all. Make it off this bike, man. We all think y'all are here. Yeah? <laughs> Gonna ride off on me. <laughs> How many cameras is you <laughs> That's the best to me. <laughs> baby girl, where you going? You just gonna walk off? You know, it's your mom right there, dude. I thought we were having a good conversation. 15, 15 years ago. Oh, you, you gonna wave me off? You gonna wave me off? You I see it, Chuck? Who do you think you You know what? No, Richard's mom 15 years ago? Sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. Get on you think you are out here, man? Just gonna wave me off. <laughs> fuck you. Know, you know, yeah, fuck you. Come back here. Yeah. You gonna try to kick a player when you're here? Okay. Yeah, player. Right, oh, you got the kicks, son. You got the yeah, kicks. Come on, stand back. He's, he's a stand back. He's a bell in his neck. Feel right in your crotch, player. Right in your crotch. He tried to save her, too. He's like, stand back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more well, I, love, I love that it has a bell in his neck. Oh, 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 like, you okay, hear it coming. Right, you got some, oh, yeah, you get it. Get it. Get it. You gonna kick me in the middle? You want us to knock that thing out? Just gonna kick me in the chest. Oh, you got the shit. I would have grabbed back legs, dude. Balls. Look at his balls and udder hanging shoves, out. I kicked it right oh, there. We square shove it now. Nice. We we shove it down. now. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It ain't over playing with your strike. <laughs> oh, no, just right. You need to pin kicks. those things down. Yep. We back Pull to it. these kicks. Fuck no, not gonna yeah. happen. Where you going, tight pants? Kicking ain't gonna do shit. No, he's saying kicking in the fucking balls. Nah. Are you running off? Real shit. Gonna be mad. Punch that motherfucker out. That's sharks. You're supposed to punch sharks in the face. I'm not like punch that in the face. goofy ass. Follow me. You see these horns in your face, player? You said your piece. You said your move, man. Go sit down somewhere, man. Ain't no games out here. You talking, but talk is cheap. Talk is only ninety nine cents. You play, follow me. You see these horns and charcoal. It's just a fraction of what you can receive. That's just a taste. Let's go. Oh, Carlton. Yeah, if you ever want my boy Carlton, slow down, sir. Carlton, slow down, sir. Henry, relax. John Bob was too. Carlton's older than I thought. Yeah, dude. Henry, fire. Oh, His daughter's oh, nice. Slow down. I know. That's why I was like, what? She's in college on this the block, whole year. Yeah, slow down. Cram. Dude, the she fuck? fucked up like that. It's fuck your dress shoes. But yeah, my, my boy John Bob looks like a bigger version of you. That's what I thought. I was like, dude, John Bob looks like Jack. <laughs> but bigger. But bigger. Get in there, man. If you're having a good time, get off me, man. He's like a foot taller. Than I love that the other two guys didn't try helping at all. They were just like, they just watched their friend get crammed. Cram. Actually, that guy was laughing his ass off over yeah, there. Yeah, he's like a bad You got kicked. You got your dress shoes off my wife first, man. Get your hands off me. You were standing there getting your ass off my wife first. Cram. See the dog in the back. This is cool, man. Throw it up. Throw it up. I love it when he's all like, that was pretty bad. Oh, sorry. This audio could be it like in porno, tense. too, guys. <laughs> right. yeah, Cram. 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 Oh, Cram. 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 I messed that one up. My bad. I messed that one up. It's my fault. I love it. It's a little bit. Oh, could you end up seeing Midsummer? Cram. It was good. Light work. Hold on, ladies, hold on. What'd you say to me? Hmm? Try to don't do this. Hmm? You eyeballing me? Hmm? <laughs> you want to feel every piece of this? Hmm? He's not retarded. Hmm? He's a follow up. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you quick on your feet, huh? And stick and move. Oh, okay. Stick and move. This is, huh? They think are the hmm? best ones. There are way feel funnier that. ones out there. Hmm? I know they this is funny. Ball There's a dude standing like Jesus in one of them, and the whole flock of fucking <laughs> sheep are like, going, they're walking past yeah. him like he's Jesus. I your cousin, but there's one of them who ain't having that shit, and they cram the fuck out of him. Cram. <laughs> <laughs> and while he's trying to get up from the floor, the other ones start joining in, cramming him. Oh, you got you one for the road, huh? Right. Yeah, he's, he's heavy breathing. I'll see you again, play this ball. When I see you again, it's over. 
project. Let's try to go, go, knock you out on the rim. This is short play. Oh, this is fucking bad, <laughs> dude. That's fucking badass. I'm sorry. Like, like I said, if I, if I lived out there, I'd probably do some dumb shit too. It's like, yeah, fuck it, pass it down. <laughs> this guy's trying to act like he's a bad. He's obviously getting hurt though. Yeah, but he's still badass for putting it up with the dude. Got a little piece of your nugget in that cram. Hold on, let me restart the cram. Dude, he's getting fucked up. Yeah, he's he's gonna deep dive that night. You went to see the fucking Dawson. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Yeah, start start from scratch. Start from scratch. Oh yeah. So hey, look it up because Richard hasn't seen it still. The the miss, Mrs. Glass. That, that first video I sent you, dude. He's dead. That's a horn. That's a horn in there. That's a horn. Like in his neck, chest. That's fucking done. Oh, this was the best, dude. The fucking pop car. Dude, that guy's lucky. It was only a, it's fucking hooves. He's, he's lucky it was a hooves, dude. If that was a fucking head, that would have fucked his ass up, dude. Oh yeah. Because it would have fell into the fucking door frame with him. It was just hooves no, pushing. Looking at the tape. All right. All right. This is Graham you Graham Graham Adams. Look at the tape. Man. I came off the wall. Mr. Humphrey's grill piece. Mr. Humphrey's grill piece. <laughs> <laughs> they said if it was a head, dude, it would have fucked him up way more, dude. Yeah, oh, seriously. Because it would have felt. You know, remind me of that when when we hit that cannon on a kickboxing oh, mop and I, and I slammed my head. You slammed the back of your head, dude. Just like that. The funniest was like three days later. I totally forgot about it. And I was like, "What the fuck is this pimple on my head?" And it kept growing. And dude, I had the biggest swell on my back of my head forever. Cram. Yeah. Cram. Damn. Cram. Yeah, show him that shit, dude. What's it called? That one link that I sent you, it's on Twitter. Yeah, I could probably pull it up here. Uh, Mr. Ice? <laughs> Mrs. Glass. Oh, I said Mrs. Mrs. Glass. Glass. Black Lady Falls, you know. Yeah, see if that fucking... Uh, shoe store. <laughs> shoe store. Nah. Like I said, I know it's on fucking... For sure on Instagram. Oh, no. Let me see. Crank. Yeah, you need to see this video, dude. It's just fucking legit. It's so bad. Let's see. Because you heard me read off everything that was broken, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now think about that while you're watching it. And you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> now just fucking put it on there. What yeah. the fuck? Look at her hand, dude. He's going to show it again. Look at her hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude. But look how big those hills are. That makes sense because she's retarded. But yeah. yeah, like she's screaming. But there you have it. Wow, dude, she broke like seven fucking bones. What does she do? Only eat barbecue ribs and drink only grape Kool Aid. Holy shit! How are you that bad? How does your body snap like that? Yeah, she's never had water. Yeah, <laughs> she's had soda her whole life. Never had milk. She's had what? diet drinks her whole life, and um, I don't think ribs, because like you're gonna get marrow still. Do you clay a diet? <laughs> nah, she's had processed meat. Cheese she's fries, had she's had fast food her whole life. Yeah, because processed meat. Yeah. Oh, did you guys see Mike on? Um... <laughs> of course I didn't. <laughs> he looks so young though. I'll give him that. <laughs> Dude, he looks really young. What's crazy is I, I see, uh, what's his son's name? The youngest one? What's your youngest son's name, Brad? Uh, Chuck? What? What's your youngest nephew's name? It does look like Mike. That's funny name. He looks like a retarded what? Mike. What's your youngest nephew, his youngest son's name? Um, Luke. There we go. It looks like Luke grown up. Like, I see the face. I see the face now. At the time, I never saw it. I was always like, ah, it kind of looks like you. Yeah. yeah. No, that looks like Luke grown up, dude. Dude, your brother looks hella young right there, though. That's crazy. Yeah, did you see this shit? Hey, Mr. Woody, you took the top off the Delta 888, dude. Come on, man. What we going get in the car, man. Man, I'm about to get in the car, man. Dang. Take it out, dang. Hey, what the Oscar are they? Right there. Where are you? Press play. I'm about to press play. Come in, man. 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 Come in,
<laughs> what you guys are looking at is basically like a buffalo in a fucking car just, with a cocker spaniel. Name, name it off. What, what's the name of the fucking video or the clip? Oh, yeah. It's called, uh, it's under John Hunt. So John Hunt does nigga turtles. If you guys don't know who John Hunt oh, is. Oh, shit. I never looked up any of his other videos. But he, yeah, nigga he turtles. also does uh, uh, the food uh, food spell with Chucky. Have you ever seen that one? Nope. Oh, my put God. Put it up. Put it up. I'll put it up. So, um, yeah. Nigga so, turtles is his shit, though. It's so funny. Yeah. Nigga yeah. turtles is very funny. You guys never seen it? It's one of the greatest fucking movies. Redone so, with a black guy. Let's get let's get rich in here. Yeah. And uh, go, so you can enjoy it, up, it too. It up, All right. So we're going to play it right now. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Which is funny because fucking this is, this is a great movie, dude. I just yeah, hate all the so sequels. I hate you, all the If sequels. you guys want to follow along, it's Food Spell Chucky. Look at that like, up even, in even you cuz you you like Chucky. Yeah. All the sequels are garbage. So <laughs> check it out. Chucky Chucky oh, put a food this. spell on this motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, you seen it? All right. Yeah, okay. This one I like. Yeah, I've never seen it. Green beans, cheese, and potato. Neck bone, grits, rice, <laughs> casserole, butter beans, black eyed peas, chicken nuggets, and deer meat, chili fries, apple pies, and chicken thighs, sweet beef, dressing, ham, hogs, and turkey necks, fried gizzards, hog head, cheese, <laughs> fried gizzards, crabby awesome. patties, Roman noodles, hot links, and cool <laughs> Yeah, it goes away. It's the funniest fucking part here. <laughs> oh fuck! You didn't play it. Oh man, you, that's the funniest part. Hold on, let me, yeah, let me yeah. see if we play it. Collard greens, green <laughs> Go beans, get. cheese, and Fast potato. Forward, You hungry, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, real, real quick. Click, click that one. Uh, Wipeout's top ten. Cool. Wipeout was great. No, right there on the right. That fat dude in the green shirt. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. no, well, it might be that one. Yeah, that one. Fuck it. I love that shit. Dude. I would volunteer for that. They should have this at Universal Studios. Oh, I thought so, too. Fucking no, set up. No, he's always look fun as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he fell in good, though, dude. He fell in on his head. That show is fucking great, though, dude. <laughs> they just talk so much shit. He fucking totally fucking fucked that up. Fucking idiot. Fucking loser. I hope you saw all that shit gets sick. Curtis, 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 a white guy named Curtis, get the fuck out of here! What a fucking idiot, dude. Blake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and Bryce are gonna go get some fucking. <laughs> oh, this is great! I love this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got her for sure, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was not surprised they let her go. Yeah. That wasn't that bad. Was she, oh, dude, no. Nah, by the end, like towards the end of the first season, they just let anybody go. That's why I was like, "What the fuck, dude? They should put this shit at Universal Studios and just record it." <laughs> Bollywood. There ain't no black. There's no way she's even gonna make it up those stairs. No. <laughs> of course, she's calling it quits. Yeah, there's no way she would fall up the ladder. <laughs> That's the song they play. Dude, she shouldn't be able to, to be alive. Let's thing. see if the all new hurdles have any effect on that perpetually good natured grin. Oh, Ooh, how do you fucking. What's wrong with you? My goodness, Johnny, these hurdles are brutal. I mean, she was taking it like a. Johnny, I'm beating it. All right, we're, we're, we're going to end this episode. Uh, we'll also listen to this, but. Guys. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Hopefully you have a friend, yeah. at least, if you don't have a really good family. But do something. Yeah. Eat yeah. something good. Don't and just... Oh, I, I feel sad for everybody that fucking eats at Danny's on Thanksgiving or some stupid shit like that. Fuck exactly. you. Don't do that or shit. You're better than that. Come on, people. Or they eat the, or they eat the casino for Thanksgiving. It's actually pretty good food over there. 
Yeah, okay, I still yeah. feel bad for him. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, still but I, lining I your guys' money with, you know, pockets with money. Yeah, Come to true. the casino, okay, true. guys? Like, do on staters. Come on, people. <laughs> do stater, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Go to <laughs> some family friends. But just know that Booze and Dudes still loves you. Almost all of you. Almost. Unless you're uh, an yeah. A- A-lister. Listen, yeah, listen to us on Thanksgiving while you're being sad yeah, and alone. listen to shit. us. Yeah. Give us a good download. On top of that. And then I mean? donate to our Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Do we have we'll, Patreon, guys? We will. Help us start one. Help us start one. Yeah. All right. All right. Make a website for us, all that shit. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. Thank you so much for listening.